A bizarre day in court, just an hour after a man lights up a joint in front of a judge, another man overdoses in the same Wilson County courtroom. Chris Conti shows us how officers saved that man's life. Expectations of typical court decorum all but disappeared this week. I'd gotten in there a little bit late. And Jim Kirk was there inside a courtroom in Wilson County. New video tonight of a marijuana suspect lighting up a joint right in front of the judge. The a man arrested for possessing marijuana pulled some out of his pocket and in front of a judge lit up a joint. The signs here make it clear that smoking of any kind is not allowed. The whole room erupted, you know, in laughter and... Hi, you know, look what he's doing. It's unfortunate that we have situations like we did on Monday. Scott Moore is with the Wilson County Sheriff's Office. He did not find any humor in the situation, which has now gone viral. Your normal person wouldn't go in there in front of a judge, surrounded by law enforcement, and done what he done. It was just a bizarre day here in General Sessions Court. An hour prior in the same courtroom, this happened. This video was taken inside the very same courtroom where that guy lit up. An hour later, in the second row, deputies noticed a man had slumped over. We thought he was asleep. And they went over to try to wake him up. He wouldn't wake up. Turns out that man had overdosed on drugs. And they tap him on his shoulder, see if he pops up. Officials quickly gave him Narcan and brought him back to life. It happened in the courtroom. It just shows it can happen anywhere. For Scott Moore, both situations speak to what he sees as a more troubling drug problem in the county. Normally, we don't have two of those same type situations happen in one day. It's just a terrible thing that's going on with society nowadays. Not the highest crime a person can commit, but still a crime nonetheless. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. As for the man who lit up that joint in court, he's back behind bars tonight. That man who overdosed refused medical attention after being revived.